you have now learned the concepts of life insurance underwriting and policy issues. Let's review some of the key areas from this section that will help you prepare to pass. Life insurance agents are involved firsthand in the underwriting process and are often a source of underwriting information themselves. All agents should know and understand the purpose and process of underwriting. Purpose of underwriting. Underwriting is the process in which an insurance company determines whether or not a particular applicant is insurable, and if so, what premiums to charge. The main things an underwriter will use includes the applicant's health, both current and past, occupation, lifestyle, hobbies, and habits. Underwriting process. The person applying for insurance must submit an application to the insurance company for approval. The application is one of the main sources of underwriting information for the company. Although applications differ by insurance company, they all have the same basic components. Part 1, general information. Part 2, medical information. And Part 3, the agent's report. Part 1, general information. This section of the application includes the general questions about the applicant, such as name, age, address, birth date, gender, income, marital status, and occupation. Part 2, medical information. This section of the application includes information on the prospective insured's medical background, present health, recent medical visits, the medical status of living relatives, and the causes of death of relatives. Part 3, the agent report. This section of the application provides the agent's personal observations concerning the applicant. As a field underwriter, the agent can be considered the most important source of information available to the company underwriters. The agent's report does not become part of the entire contract, although it is a part of the application process. Medical Information Bureau. In addition to an attending physician's report, the underwriter will usually request a Medical Information Bureau report. The MIB is a nonprofit trade organization which receives adverse medical information from insurance companies and maintains confidential medical information on individuals. It is a way for insurance companies to compare the information they have collected on potential applicants. Consumer reports. Consumer reports include written and oral information regarding a consumer's credit, character, reputation, or habits collected by a reporting agency from employment records, credit reports, and other public sources. Investigative consumer reports. Investigative consumer reports are similar to consumer reports in that they also provide information on the consumer's character, reputation, and habits. The primary difference is that the information is obtained through an investigation and interviews with associates, friends, and neighbors. Fair Credit Reporting Act. Under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if someone applying for insurance is declined or modified because of information contained either in a consumer or investigative report, the person has the right to know what was in the report and will be provided with the name and address of the reporting agency. Risk classifications. Underwriting will look at the applicant's past medical history, present physical condition, occupation, habits, and morals. If the applicant is acceptable, the underwriter must then determine the risk or rating classification to be used in deciding whether or not the applicant should pay a higher or lower premium. An individual may be rated as one of three classifications, standard, substandard, or preferred. Standard risks. Standard risks are people who, according to a company's underwriting standards, are entitled to insurance protection without extra rating or special restrictions. They are considered an average risk. Substandard risk. Substandard risk are people who are not acceptable at standard rates because of a physical condition, personal or family history of disease, occupation, or dangerous habits. These policies are also referred to as rated because they could be rated up, resulting in a higher premium. Preferred risks. Preferred risks are people who meet certain requirements. The applicants are in superior physical condition with healthy lifestyles and habits. They qualify for lower premiums than standard risk. Field underwriting procedures. The agent is the company's front line and is referred to as a field underwriter because the agent is usually the one who has solicited the potential insured. As a field underwriter, 
the agent has many important responsibilities during the underwriting process and beyond, including the following. Proper solicitation of applicants, helping prevent adverse selection, completing the application, obtaining the required signatures, collecting the initial premium, delivering the policy, and issuing the receipt. The most common receipt is a conditional receipt. With a conditional receipt, the applicant is covered by the insurance company as of the date of the application, providing that the insurance company approves them for insurance. Example, if an agent collects the initial premium from an applicant and gives the applicant a conditional receipt and the applicant dies the next day, the underwriting process will proceed as though the applicant were still alive. If the insurance company ends up approving the coverage, then the applicant's beneficiary will receive the death benefit of the policy. If on the other hand, the insurer determines that the applicant was not an acceptable risk and declines the coverage, the premium will be refunded to the beneficiary and the insurer is not required to pay the death benefit. Backdating. Sometimes it is possible to lower the premium rate by backdating application for insurance. If the applicant chooses to do this, the policy may be backdated for no more than six months. The only reason an application may be backdated is to lower the premium. Fully understanding these key topics are essential as you prepare to pass.